Here's your NBC 26 News update. I'm Nina Sperano. A coronavirus variant that appears to be more contagious and cause more severe symptoms has been discovered in Sauk County, just northwest of Madison. The public health director there calls this concerning and urges people to remain vigilant. The new strain was first discovered in California last summer. It is the fourth COVID-19 variant reported in the state. A coronavirus outbreak has been reported on a ship headed to the port of Milwaukee. Officials now expect the Presque Isles, one of the largest ships on the Great Lakes, to dock on Monday. Port officials say roughly half the crew is tested positive for COVID and two crew members were hospitalized. Other crew members are quarantining either on board or in hotels. That is a sound you'll hear if you live in Winnebago or Outagamie counties tomorrow. Starting tomorrow, both counties are starting their weekly testing of their outdoor warning systems at noon. A reminder, these sirens are intended for outdoor warnings only and not to be heard inside homes or businesses. If you do hear them tomorrow, they ask you do not call 911. They are, in fact, just tests. In two weeks, Winnebago County will also take part in a statewide, statewide mock tornado drill on April 15th. Time now for a check on our weekend forecast. Let's send it over to meteorologist Gino Recchio. Gino? That's right, Nina. We've got a nice, quiet day out there, and this weekend's going to be lots of sunshine, at least to start off. We'll see a little bit of increasing clouds as we head into the day for tomorrow. Some mid-upper level clouds, but it looks like a lot of sunshine for your Saturday. As we head into Easter Sunday, a little bit more cloud cover, but both days are anticipated to have highs in the mid-60s. Tonight, we'll have overnight lows above the freezing mark in the mid and upper 30s, with winds coming in out of the south around 10 to 15 miles per hour, gusts near 20. And then as we head into our day for tomorrow, we'll get up into the mid and upper 60s. Some areas getting close to 70 degrees away from Lake Michigan.